What's up guys, it's your Asian Brito here. Today we are going to be reacting to the New Jeans ETA music video and then we will be reviewing and ranking all the songs on the EP. And for some context, I recorded this ETA reaction when the music video came out, but I haven't gotten to making this video until now, which is August 12th. So that's why it's a little late, but my review was written up just a day or two ago. So it's a pretty recent review. I feel like it was a good amount of time to really kind of analyze the songs and just figure out what my ranking is a lot better than how I did for ISTJ because ISTJ was a overnight thing. <laughs> it was an overnight type of process for the review. So yeah, I did that just to pump it out. But this one, I took a little bit more time and I feel like I am probably gonna take more time if I do album or EP reviews. So there's that. But yeah, that's my only reasoning why this video is a little bit late. So without further ado, let's get on with the reaction. What's up guys, it's Uber Asian Burrito here. And for those watching on YouTube, make sure to check out my Twitch because I am streaming this on Twitch currently. And I will be making this a video. Today, we are reacting to the New Jeans ETA music video. It just came out today along with the whole album. I assume I'll probably make another video later or include in the same video just me kind of analyzing the whole album and just giving a final opinion about the album similar to the NCT Dream video that I am currently finishing up right now and going to upload soon so let's get started with this music video okay I uh, does that mean they're partnered with Apple oh we're on FaceTime with honey we're on FaceTime with Honey. God. It's been a blessing. It's been a blessing. I needed this. I, need, I needed this. Ava, look. I cannot believe this. Is that your boyfriend? Your body is from Wall. Oh my god. We're Eva? We're, is, that, is that our character's name? <laughs> look at them. Yeah, they're not your name. Okay, okay, I'll call you. I'll call you back. Who is this? We're Eva? We're, is, that, is that our character's name? Oh yeah, I forgot to say. I'm pretty sure everyone's heard this song on their fan meeting performance. And I gotta say, I really do like the song. It took me like a few listens. It took me a few listens. But I, I really, I really do like this song now. Honey looks so fucking good, bro. Honey looks so good. The wait, those outfits are. Car wash outfits. I fuck with it. It reminds me a lot of like the the Catch Me If You Can from uh, Girls Generation. It, it reminds me of the same outfits, but that's I don't know. I, I fuck I fuck with these. I fuck with these. Minji looks really good. Minji looks really good also. All of a sudden, Heron's a, Heron's a, a fucking pol is that Minji too? <laughs> They're police officers all of a sudden. Honey. Honey just oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. I don't know what the fuck that was. Just run them over, and they're they're just chilling on the car. That's crazy. That's crazy. Ooh. 
Wait, so it was it was in partnership with Apple, commissioned by Apple. So it was, yeah, it was in partnership with Apple. That's crazy. New jeans and Apple. That's crazy. <laughs> Crazy, they're getting all the partnerships possible. Who would have thought? And this is Adore's first, or rather, only K pop group as of right now, which is crazy. Wow, okay. I like that. I like I like I like the music video. It was very fun to watch. Just like the past few New Jeans music videos for this album slash era, I've just been so confused as to what's going on in the fucking music video. But let's uh move on to listening to the whole album. I <laughs> pre-ordered multiple. Maybe I'll maybe I'll make a maybe I'll record an unboxing. I don't know. I love I love this cover though. This cover is so cute. It's so cute. Look at it. Anyways, I don't think there's any point in me listening to to these songs when I've heard them already. So, uh, if anything, I should just be listening to a ASAP because that's the only new song that I haven't heard yet. Hi, 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 it's me again, I'm back Let's talk ASAP Do you have the Just for a minute The iconic snippet that everyone went crazy for Just for a minute I still love it, it, it sounds, it's so catchy ASAP, baby Ooh. Wait, holy shit. Wait, that what the fuck the the beat the drums came in and it was crazy. What the fuck? It went it went to a super like low like super minimal instrumental and then all of a sudden they put the drums in. That shit was hitting. That shit was hitting. Well, there's like subtle drums in this part, but then it starts going crazy. Like right here. ASAP, baby. Hurry up, don't be lazy. This sounds like a song that motherfuckers on TikTok are gonna get sturdy to, bruh. It's not a Jersey song, but I know motherfuckers are gonna get sturdy to this shit. Wow, okay. I don't know why, but I find ASAP and New Jeans, they're like the most minimal songs in this album. I mean, other than Get Up, Get Up is an interlude. But these two songs, New Jeans and ASAP, they were so minimal, but I enjoyed them the most. Is that odd? I mean, ETA was good. I mean, they're all good. They're all just super catchy. But ASAP and New Jeans were just hitting different. I don't know. They weren't the most complex songs, but they were the craziest to me. I don't know why. I do, I do love this interlude, but the thing is, it's not a full song. It's not a full song, so I can't say that this is my favorite song, but if, if it was like a full-length song, this would be definitely my favorite song in the EP because it's like the type of R&B I like to listen to. It's like a... I, 
I don't know if you would call that alternative R and B, but it's very R and B, and I fucking I love I love this interlude. I love this shit, and it's just it's so sad that it's only thirty six fucking seconds. I need this shit to be a full song. I needed it to be a full song. That would have been that would have taken the cake for me. This shit would have hit so hard. I mean, it already hits, but it would have hit so fucking hard. And they don't use their typical high-pitched voices in that song. It feels so soulful. You know what I mean? It sounds really full. Their voices sound a lot fuller in this than the other songs. To be honest, all of the other songs, they all felt like they were aiming straight for radio. Like, all of the songs in this EP weren't that complex of songs. But this one, this one just hits... hits different. This interlude just hits different. I mean, overall, this EP is very, very simple, very minimalistic, a lot more minimalistic than the first EP, for sure. It feels like they're trying to go a different route and try to make very simple songs that everyone is going to casually listen to, especially like on the radio, because these seem very radio type songs to me. And that's totally fine. That's totally fine because I feel like New Jeans' target audience has changed to more of the mainstream now. I still enjoy this. This is still really good to listen to. Personally, I do prefer the first EP for sure and the OMG single album. This is still really good. Still very New Jeans. <laughs> it's very New Jeans for sure. It does hit the New Jeans standards in my opinion. So, I mean, still a solid listen. Not that bad of a listen. You just need to factor in the fact that it's very radio take that into consideration so that is it for my reaction for the music video for eta and the reaction to asap and i guess get up too i hope you enjoyed this follow my twitch so you can tune into these live instead of you know watching my videos i don't know also so that you can you know interact while i'm reacting to these um so yeah So, it's been over a few weeks. We're getting close to a month, I think. Let's talk about the EP and rank it the same way that we did for ISTJ, from worst to best. The song at the bottom of the ranking is probably the most popular song on the EP, to my knowledge, and that song is Super Shy. As catchy as the song is, and as great as they sound, the song ends up being super repetitive in a more annoying way, and ends up being very radio-like which was probably exactly what they were going for with this song, but I would give this song a 6 out of 10. It's very listenable, but it's not exactly timeless. Now we have ASAP or ASAP. ASAP ended up not living up to expectations after everyone hearing the teaser that they released and the sample that they released on the website before the EP was released. The instrumental is very simplistic, but it's somewhat captivating, especially when the instrumental switched to primarily just the drums. But because of how overly simplistic the song is, it misses out on a lot of potential for the song. I just wish there was a lot more that was done to the song, especially lyrically, but I would give this song a 7 out of 10. For number 4 on the list, I have ETA. Don't get me wrong, I thought this song was a very hard listen when I first heard it when they revealed it at the Bunny's Camp fan meeting concert. And after a few listens, I started to really like it a lot. The only gripe that I have with this song is probably like the horn trumpet thing throughout the whole song. It ends up becoming really annoying to me and somewhat clashes with every other aspect of the song. I would give this song a 7.5 out of 10. Definitely a song that I would play in the car like any time. Number three on the list is the self-titled song, New Jeans. Personally, I think this song has the most corny lyrics of all of the songs, but it does end up being super catchy, like a radio song. But unlike Super Shy, it's in a good way. I feel that this song is definitely carried by the Jersey Club type instrumental it presents itself with. So I will give it a 7.5 out of 10. Number two on the list is Get Up. Even though Get Up is only just an interlude, this track still ends up being better than all of the previously mentioned songs. This song gives us a sneak peek on how New Jeans can pull off R&B and the potential they have in making good R&B songs. 
So I will give that song a 8.5 out of 10. Now, my number one song in this EP is, you guessed it, Cool With You. The song also presents their potential in R&B even more with this song, while implementing house and UK garage in the song as well. The instrumental ends up being the most complex in the EP, and it makes great use of the members' full voices. So I would give this one an 8.5 out of 10. This is not applied to the song itself, but I would also like to argue that this song has the best live performance out of all the songs that they've performed in the EP in the EP <laughs> just had to just had to put that out there but yeah overall my thoughts on this EP was that it was a great listen it was very new jeans like it was very on brand but it wasn't as good as the first EP in my opinion it wasn't as good as the self-titled EP and even though I don't think it's as good as the first EP, I still think this is a really good listen. Especially if you liked the first EP or just any New Jean songs in general. It definitely has not hit the level that the first EP and the OMG single album. It's definitely not on that level. This is still better than Zero, in my opinion. I think everyone will agree that that is the case. But it doesn't mean that this is bad whatsoever. It doesn't mean that this is bad. It's sort of like a movie sequel because the second one is never better than the original movie. So I feel like that's how this EP ends up being. Take that as you will. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please leave a like, comment, and subscribe. And I do have another video planned. It's already done, ready to upload, but it is actually not a K-pop related video. But I have been seeing that these K-pop videos on my channel are doing better than majority of my other content. So I will stick to this content as well but I will still be putting out the content that I wanted to put out originally. I will be putting that out too. So I will see you guys in the next video.